Hello everyone, welcome to another video. My name is Mario So, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I shot this commercial video. So I hope you're all doing well and staying safe. It's nice to see you here, even though I can't actually see you, but I know you're here. This video is not sponsored by Nerds or whoever the parent company is. It was just something that I wanted to do at home and to try out. But hey, if you're watching, I'm all ears. So if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Your support will be greatly appreciated. I create videos about filmmaking, tutorials, and gear review. And if you're already subscribed, thank you again so much for watching. Your support is always appreciated. I'm completely amazed at how this channel has grown over the past six months. I went from zero subscribers to almost 500 at the time of the making of this video. So thanks again for your continuous support. This video was my entry into the world of video for products, products video, video commercials for products, product video commercials. I've been inspired recently by videos like Austin Paul's or Daniel Schiffer's uh, product commercials and I thought I would try to do something directly from home with minimal setup and just by myself and with the help of my wife for some shots. So the idea behind why I wanted to do it with nerds is because I was eating these when I was watching those videos and that's where the idea came about. So today we're going to attempt to do a nerds commercial straight from my living room. So I had to move my dining table away from this spot and this has become my product. Uh, videography, my product shoe set. I got a bunch of things at the dollar store. So the entire setup, other than the camera gear and the lights, was about $20. So I got a few foam boards here. So I got a white foam board here that I can use. I got a bunch of colored Bristol boards. And I got two boxes of these nerds. If you've never tried them, you should probably try them because they're really good. I have also uh, tape, I have green tape so I don't damage my walls. In terms of the background, I knew that this product being small, I wouldn't need like a massive backdrop. So I thought about buying Bristol boards at the dollar store and they come in different colors. They're really cheap to get and they were just the perfect size for this product. So for this shoot, I had the Godox SL60 as my main key light and that I had placed to the left of the product. I lit the backdrop with a Yongno 216 spotlight, a super cheap budget friendly spotlight that I also review in another video if you'd like to check it out. And as my other fill light, I use an RGB tube light, but set at daylight. For the first shot, I wanted to have like a small zoom in into the product and then the Nerds box will start to shake. And if you've seen old Nerds commercials, they're super cool. And all of these Nerd guys just fly around in different places and just cause a chaos of color and sugar. I wanted to create something similar, but without all those visual effects, since I'm not super well versed in that. So for that, I, I taped wire, this uh, Arts and Crafts wire, and I opted for the green one in case I wanted to green screen them. I didn't have to do that in the end, but I just went for green just in case. And after that in post, what I did with that scene, I used uh, CC simple wire removal and I had to manually, frame by frame, remove that wire. And I opted to choose the yellow background for my first and last shot. I felt that the yellow would really contrast well with the box and it would give you the overall feel of the nerds partying, lots of color, lots of pop. The second shot is probably my favorite shot out of this entire commercial sequence. And it was also one of the shortest ones. I put a blue background instead because I knew I wanted to key the background out. The box has some green in it, so I knew a green Bristol board would not work as my green screen, so I couldn't key out that green. So I opted to go for a blue screen instead. So for that box shot, I also used the same wires from the first shot, and I just sort of had a, I lifted the box by myself in slow motion, sort of like this. Now the next part was very, very tricky, and I made a huge mess in my living room because all the nerds fell everywhere, and yeah. I first tried to test throwing the nerds uh, down from up top and I thought uh, if I reverse that it would seem like the nerds are coming out of the box but the way gravity works when you throw something down it didn't really 
feel organic, it didn't feel realistic at all. So what I tried next was get a small bowl and have a few nerds in there and I attempted to throw it up and I shot that at 120 frames per second. I also made sure that I shot the blue backdrop by itself so that would act as my background layer. And later in After Effects, I had to key out the blue key from all the individual nerds and I drew a mask around it to key out my hand and the bowl. And then I just added different iterations of the different nerds jumping into the air. I adjusted the scale and I keyframe for rotation to sell the effect a little bit more. What I did at the end was to apply a lumetri effect on the nerds themselves and just to match the brightness and color of the little nerds with the box. For the next scene, I had these jars at home that my wife is using for, for plant propagation or something like that. I thought it would be a really neat shot if the nerds were flowing into the little jar and because it's glass you can see them bouncing around inside. I used my third Bristol board for this shot, this time I opted for an orange one. Again, just to try to make it a little bit different and to bring in the different colors of the different colored nerds. I also used a display product rotation stand that runs some batteries. I picked that up on Amazon for about 20 bucks or something, I think. So if you'd like to check that out, I'll leave a link in the description below. So I created this sort of uh, thing with paper and that worked really well. So I could funnel, yes, that's what it's called. So I created this funnel made of paper and I would funnel all the nerds into the jar like that. I also shot this at 120 frames per second. For this next shot, I made sure I had my grid lines turned on in the camera and I would make sure that I would place a nerd right in the center of my frame, right at one of the intersections in the grid lines on the camera and I'll wait for the nerd to do a complete rotation before I stop recording. And I don't have a macro lens with me so I used a macro filter to get closer and get that macro effect of these little nerds. I wanted to include the different colored nerds in that single shot. So they would be almost like stop motion, but the key difference would be that they will all be still rotating because they were on top of that display stand. So in post, I lined them up at the same time where they all started right at the center, and then I just cut the clips at different points in time in the music where I wanted the different color nerd to appear. For the next shot, I just had the two jars and I made sure that they were all evenly placed in the beginning of the shot and the display stand will just do its job. It'll rotate them and later in post, I just reversed it back in a seamless back and forth boomerang sort of shot. For this shot, I also used my macro filter and I went even closer, focused on the box and I just let the display stand do its thing. I was just on a tripod without moving anything. The key to this shot was also to get a background shot of just the blue Bristol board. So I used all the different colored nerds, the five colors, and I had them come in at different points in time twice. So what I did later was in After Effects come back and first do the stop motion sequence in one composition. Each nerd will come in every four frames. I also masked the, the, the rectangle section of the stop motion animation and I also keyed out the blue so I could actually use just the one clean blue background and not have the different things such as lighting mess up with the other ones that I would duplicate. So I duplicated that sequence, I adjusted for position, I rotated some of them to give the impression that there were actually a lot of nerds involved in this stop motion animation when there were only 10 photos involved. For the last shot, I wanted to bring it back to the first frame where it all started. I wanted the box to drop onto the frame and I had a slider set up for this shot and the slider would slowly move back as the box of candy dropped into the frame. And as that happened, I wanted the logo to sort of fly out from inside the box and just show the name of the product at the end. For this shot, I filled back some of the nerds into the box to give it some weight so that it would land properly. And I had to do this last shot a few times just because I don't have a motorized slider. I have a very old Konova slider that I had to manually slide back. All right, so I think I'm done and we'll head over to the editing station and we'll put it all together and see what it looks like. I hope it turned out all right. If not, it was a great opportunity to practice and just to learn more from it. And now, 
Let's eat some nerds. So this is how I film this product commercial from home. And let's take a look once again. So I hope you liked this video as much as I enjoyed making it. I have to say that I did not expect it to turn out as good as it actually turned out. It was actually my first time attempting to do a product video, commercial style kind of video. So let me know what you thought about this nurse commercial in the comments below and if you have any tips and tricks that I could learn from you, I'll be happy to hear about them as well. Once again, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to help me keep creating these videos for you. And if you're already subscribed, thank you again so much for watching. And that is all for today, guys. Until next time.